The scariest thing for a new pig owner is thinking about their pig possibly becoming aggressive. And, you know, of course it's scary. If if you've never had a pig before, you know, you're, you're not exactly sure what to look for and you're not exactly sure how to handle it. And I totally get that. I've been there. Um, so today I'm going to talk about how to spot aggression in the very beginning and how to handle it. Um, so I would say that probably 99% of the time, the first time you're going to spot some kind of aggressive or not even aggressive, but maybe bossy behavior in a new pig or piglet is when you're all cuddled up together. You're cuddled, you're warm, maybe you're watching TV or you're laying in bed and you realize you need to get up for something. So you move and maybe you try to move your pig off your lap or maybe, you know, it's cuddled up right next to you and you start getting up and your pig reacts to that by head swiping, not even a full head swipe, just like a slight head swipe that, and you're like, whoa, what the heck was that? It can be a little scary. Um, that is the first thing that Topanga ever did to me. Um, when she was little, she was probably about four or five months old or so. Um, we were sitting in, we have one of those huge beanbag chairs and we were sitting in it. She was laying across my lap and I had to get up. And so when I tried to, I was just trying to move her out of the way and she did this little head swipe thing to me. And what that is, is a warning. That's a warning like, don't move me, I'm comfortable. Um, you better stop. That is the first sign of bossy behavior. That is the first sign that your pig is maturing and is starting to um, think about becoming, uh, working its way, you know, up, up into the herd, up the ladder, up to the top of that herd. It's just instinct. All pigs, it's an instinct for a pig to want to move up. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's our job, you know, when we bring a pig in, we become their family, we become their herd. And it's important for us to keep them at the bottom because if we don't keep them at the bottom of the herd or the totem pole, um, things can get really bad. They, they're they mean, they're bossy, they're angry. And think about it like <laughs> something I always say to people, when a pig is at the top of that totem pole, think about that position. That's an extremely stressful position because they're on guard, they're at the top, they are, they have to, you know, in the wild, all these pigs are coming at them trying to take their spot. It's a very stressful position. It doesn't make for a happy pig. So you have, then you take a pig that's at the bottom of the family, bottom of the totem pole, think about it. Completely unstressful position. There's nowhere to go but up. So, you know, they're pretty happy. It, it really doesn't matter to them that they're that they're at the bottom. They it's it's a very unstressful position. So it's important for us to keep our pigs at the bottom. We want them to be happy. We don't want them to be aggressive or nippy or um, charge us or head swipe us or any of those things. So we need to keep them at the bottom. Now in the position where you're sitting with a pig on your lap, it gets bossy for the first time. How do you handle it? How do you do? What do you what do you do to show your pig that is that behavior is extremely unnecessary and completely not allowed? How do you do that? Well, I know what I did and I know that it worked. I'm sure that there are other ways to handle the situation. I don't know what they are and I would love for someone to share with me if they did it and what they did and if it worked, I would love for you to share it with me. Um, I'm going to tell you what I did. Now, first of all, I'm going to preface this by saying that the beanbag chair that we were sitting in was on the ground and it was only like maybe a foot, foot and a half off the ground. Um, so what I did was I took her and I pushed her off my lap. Like I said, it, it didn't hurt her. She did not get hurt. It startled her. And she walked, 
she stood up and she backed up and she just looked at me like, what was that? So I got up, I did my thing. I sat back down and then I, I didn't let her up in my lap. I kept like nudging her away from me until I invited her up. So after a few minutes, she went and laid in her bed and then I called her, Tabanga, come here, come on, let's get in my lap. So then we got cozy and she got in my lap again and I knew I was gonna have to get up. So I tried moving her again, she did it again. What did I do? Pushed her off my lap, nope. Can't do that, can't treat me that way. You're not allowed to be bossy to me, no. If I have to get up, I have to get up and you're gonna have to deal with it. What did she do? She stood back, she looked at me like, is she gonna do this every time? Yes, I am. So again, got up, did my thing, sat back down. She was not allowed in my lap until I invited her up. Then I invited her up, she laid, she probably did it maybe three, four times. She has never done it again, ever. And I just, if she were to, I would do the exact same thing. Push her off my lap. Now, please be careful and please don't take this as a sign that I want you to mistreat or hurt your pig in any way. Please remember that pigs are very resilient. They're extremely tough and solid. That being said, you can hurt them. Their legs are very small and skinny and they can be broken. So please be careful. Um, I would say sit on the floor or sit on something very low to the ground until your pig knows that it cannot boss you that way. Um, you can even like gently put them on the ground if you're sitting like on your couch or on your bed or something. Um, don't hurt them, but shock them. Shock them into like, what just happened? I don't like that. I don't like being pushed off somebody's lap. That was my spot. So if I wanna lay there, then I need to go with the flow. And it's hard to, every situation is different. That's what I did. It worked. And she does not get aggressive or lippy or bossy with me. I, I don't put up with it. I nip it in the bud immediately. And if you do that, then even while your pig is young, it's going to grow up knowing that you are the boss, that you're not gonna put up with any of these little bossy behaviors like slight head swiping, head swiping, any kind of charging or squealing or whining. I don't put up with any of it. And I must be doing something right because she's wonderful, just absolutely wonderful. I love her. So that's what I do when my pigs are bossy. Even like with our piglets, our older piglets, um, if, they, if they're if they fighting on our lap, they, they're all off. You're off. You're done. We don't put up with that kind of behavior. If you put up with that kind of behavior, like slight head swiping, it's only going to get worse. Take care of it when the pig is young when the pig does it for the first time, shock them. Like sometimes I act like a crazy lunatic, you know, clapping my hands, stomping my feet. No, no, you cannot do that. So a pig doesn't like that erratic, crazy behavior. So I try to associate that behavior with things that I don't want her to do, whether that's going in the pantry or going in the bathrooms or um, she doesn't, she's never knocked our trash over, but she moves it around. And so I don't want her to do that either because it could accidentally fall over. So we chase her out of there. Um, so I try to, I try to always set my animals up for success. And it's impossible to set an animal up for success if they don't know what's expected of them, they don't know who the boss is. It's just like a child. If you're inconsistent with your rules and your discipline, and A, you can go to bed at seven tonight, tomorrow it's eight, then nine, you have to be consistent. It's the same with a pig. You have to be consistent. And if you are, if you show them that you're the boss in a gentle, kind, loving way, but maybe acting a little crazy at times, <laughs> um, you will not have a problem. You will not have a problem. But maybe 
sometimes I, people call me when they have trouble with their pig and I would say that the pigs that become the, the worst behaved pigs, like the most bossy pigs, whiny pigs, mean pigs, are the pigs who are just completely, totally, utterly spoiled. Um, never correct them for things, like never, never showing them that you're the boss because you, oh, you just wanna love them and oh, they're just so wonderful and this is my baby and I just can, I, can, I could never discipline my baby. Oh, I could never do that. I hate to tell you, but your pig is going to be a nightmare and those are probably the pigs that are gonna have to be rehomed or rehabilitated or you're gonna have to call me and I'm gonna have to make a house visit and I'm gonna have to show your pig who's the boss. And it's so much easier to do when the piglet is little. Don't wait. Don't wait to show your pig who is the boss is. And again, that does not mean being mean. Just like our children, it takes loving discipline. It takes a lot of care and consistency. And that also means that you're gonna have to spend time with your pig, a lot of time. Spend the time with them, especially now that we're all home because of this pandemic. Spend some time with your pig, but don't let them rule the roost. Um, if anybody has pr is having difficulties with this kind of an issue, um, aggression, please reach out to me. I've worked with a lot of pigs that have aggression issues, um, spoiled pig syndrome. I've worked with a lot of them, so um, reach out to me, please. I offer consultations. Um, it's fifty dollars for an hour. We do FaceTime in an hour. Um, we pretty much, I'm able to give you a solid plan. We can get your pig on the right road. And um, I haven't had any failures yet. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. But for real, it's been, it's been pretty amazing to be able to help people on the other side of the country um, with their bossy pig behavior. So if anybody has any questions, please put them in the comments. I will get to them as soon as I can. And um, I also have two other videos on pigs and aggression on my YouTube channel. Um, they're clearly uh, titled. You can see exactly where, which ones they are. But if you go to the link, if you go to my profile and then you go to my link and then you scroll down and you'll be able to see where those videos are. All right, guys, I hope everybody is staying safe and have a good day.